My name is Roy Little. I grow uh, vegetables in the shores of Strangford Loch, just outside Newtonards. Um, we grow approximately 150 acres of veg, um, some organic veg, along with our core lines of uh, leeks, spring onions and parsley and celery. We are almost surrounded by water here living on the Ards Peninsula and uh, so as a, as a result of that our winter time temperatures would always be a degree or two above uh, the inland areas. A lot of people can grow this maybe in September or October uh, in the inland area but whenever they get a frost of maybe minus three or four we might have a frost of minus one or maybe no frost at all so um, that's how we can keep it for a longer period. The table celery is not a herb so this is a herb type thing it's called giant red celery and if you look here you can see the red redness in the stalk of the leaf here. You can see the redness in the bottom of it. And this is actually quite winter hardy, uh, believe it or not. It does look soft, but it is quite winter hardy. And it has a bit of a stronger flavour than ordinary table celery. It tends to be used more in the winter time because it's used in soups and stews uh, and, and that type of uh, food. So uh, the demand for that is much higher in the winter time. So, uh, so uh, sort of October, November, December, January, February is the time the demand is very, very big. So to have it at that time of the year is much easier and somewhere with a microclimate that we have on the Arch Peninsula. It's used uh, certainly in Northern Ireland more than it would be in England, Scotland or Wales. As a matter of fact, I don't know that it's used there at all. Um, so it, it is certainly a unique flavour to Northern Ireland. There's nothing better than a good, uh, a good bowl of broth on a cold day, is there?